Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So to the, tonight I want to share with you my um, November completed colouring pages. I'm, I'm running really behind because I wasn't very well last week, had a really bad cold and it made me feel really poorly and obviously I went back to work today so I'm running a bit behind. I know I promised to do a, well I didn't promise, I said how about we do a daily um, December colouring but um, I'm I'm going to do my best to get as many out as I possibly can. I've had a few requests for colouring, including The Night Before Christmas, which is an incredible book, and I see was back on Amazon, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to do one in there. Yeah, we've got so many to do. So, without further ado, or further waffling, let's get into the pages that I managed to complete. Um, I think I did, well I did, um, I managed to do eight. So... I started with a, I know we just had Halloween, but who doesn't want to colour a Carolina Kubikowska picture? So I did a picture in this incredible book, Magic Hour. Not that one. I didn't mark it. <laughs> As you can see, oh, I did this one. Um, and at the time it was really poignant. And it says, I ask you to be that witch, that magical alchemist. Express yourself as freely as you wish and you'll be surprised by the effects of your work. Let the colours be the spell and enchant your reality. So I just thought, you know, I was feeling pink. <laughs> so I have, I pinked it and blued it and blinged it up. I don't know if you can pick up on the, the stickles on there, but there's stickles on the little butterflies, the portholes all the woodwork on the ship and there's even a little bit of silver I don't know if that's probably better did you pick that up now hopefully so what did I use I used my Artex pencils of course I used a little bit of mead and watercolor paint and diamond stickles obviously there's some splatters and I don't know how best to get oh maybe that there you go <laughs> I love this book and it's not just for Halloween. Um, that was a very Halloweeny one, but it's just gorgeous. And she's got another one out. And yes, I've ordered it. I can't wait for it to arrive. So that was um, Carolina Kupakowska's in Magic Hour. I love it. Love these books. And then I did a million little monsters. I think I must have been making up for Halloween, you know. <laughs> maybe I didn't do enough Halloween pictures um, I don't think I'd coloured in here but I did these little fellows um, is there any glitter on here oh there's a little bit of stickles on the ghosts if I can get it to show no probably not on the ghosts and the um, spider's web so what did I use here I used water-based markers and as a base and then I used my Artex pencils and diamond stickles I had fun doing this I did enjoy doing it um, yeah so it's the first one I've coloured in here I find it very busy this one it was not what I was expecting when the book came out but I'm pleased with the results um, and it was a nice relaxing little colour so not too many um, supplies going on just colour it get on with it <laughs> so yeah so that's that that was a million little monsters by Lulu Mayo and then of course I'd had my Disney kick hadn't I so um, I got these little mini blocks um, this is bestia or animals by this is art therapy hatchet heroes and just fallen in love with Disney just I don't know why it didn't occur to me before you know how much I love to recreate somebody's art and um, yeah, so I'd, I'd started with the colour by numbers and then it occurred to me that actually you don't need to do colour by numbers to relax. You can just pull up a Disney picture and copy it. So I did Mrs Dumbo. Oh, I don't want to open it too much because in case it falls apart. I did Mrs Dumbo bathing little Dumbo. What a gorgeous picture. I had so much fun doing this. There's no stickily goodness on it. But um, oh, yeah, I just had a blast doing this. I found um, an older, original Dumbo picture and uh, sort of went with the flow with that and just really, really enjoyed it. I love how cute 
the cuteness of little Dumbo came out and yeah, just the whole thing. I, I had a blast colouring it. Um, I used um, alcohol markers. Um, I've got this round the wrong way because I'd actually done a colour by number first, but um, I used Prismas, alcohol markers and some Posca pen. Uh, yeah, just thoroughly enjoyed it. Now the reason for this, like I said, I've got it round the wrong way. I did the colour by number one first and the reason that I did this was I've, I've just, I've decided that I am not really a colour by numbers person. I, I'm too, what's the word? I think I probably need to be too controlled. I don't like the numbers showing through. So this is my beautiful Dumbo one in uh, Bestiaire and I, yeah, I'm going to be doing more in here. Obviously, we've got Christmas stuff to do first, but I love these books. Absolutely adoring Disney. So that's that. And this is what I did before, which inspired that, and why I am not think I'm not, possibly not a colour-by-number person, because I like to do my own thing. And what I don't like is the... Um, I don't like the numbers and the shapes showing through. So I did Baby Dumbo here before that one, and I like, yes, I like how he's turned out, but I used a ton of acrylic paint pen. And I did him before, that was with acrylic paint, don't like it. But, um, yeah, he turned out as he should do, but I had to use the acrylic paint pen because I couldn't bear to see the, um, the lines, you know, the lines and numbers. Oh, I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing, people, it's a weird thing. So although I enjoyed it, it kind of stressed me out more than it would if I'd have just done a normal colouring page so um yeah uh, I don't know what that's all about but it's because I'm not used to it I suppose but maybe maybe the more I do I don't know I don't know I just think yeah I don't know I need to it didn't it doesn't feel like I'd, an achievement do you know what I mean I don't know if that makes any sense like this I felt like I'd achieved something I've made that done it myself and it came out as I wanted it to whereas this I'm being told what to do so that's pro probably the problem because I'm quite naughty and rebellious uh, I don't want to be told what to do I want to colour it in my own way and yeah I don't know maybe I'll have a go and try and be a little bit rebellious in these books but it's cute he turned out really well I think but yeah anyway so that was Disney's um, Misty, uh, Baby's Misty Airs, um, if I've pronounced that correctly. And then, of course, we did, on the channel together, a uh, page in Joanna Basford's new book, Small Victories. It's a very long video. I think it's about two hours long. But we did the four castles. Now, when we did the um, video, I hadn't got this rainbow like it is and I'd done it with alcohol mark uh, sorry gel pens and when I looked I hated it once we'd finished so I went back in with some um, acrylic paint pens and just used the colours that were in the castles just to do a, a four coloured rainbow and so on this page we used Prismas um, and acrylic paint pens I put dots of all different colour greens over these to make them look like oh, it's a bit of a razor there to make them look like bushes instead of colouring individual leaves but I really like how it turned out um, I was going to do a background but then I changed my mind I think this book is about simplicity and um, I think I'd achieved the, the simplicity but also the unity of the page with the greys um, and then the, just the different colours for each castle. Like I said, it was a very exclusive neighbourhood. Yes, all detached castles. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse my cough. Yeah, but we, I had a blast. I think, yeah, like I say, this is on the channel as a colour with me. I think it's about two hours long, folks. So for a little book, um, it was a lot that went into it. But... Um, what I don't think, like I've not thought through, that each one of those castles is going to have to be individually done, you know, so it, it just did take longer than average, whereas a page like this would just be a normal page, wouldn't it? You know, you do the boat and the waves and you move on, but there is a lot of like little individual ones here that you would you, you colour individually. So that video would probably be about 20 hours long. <laughs> I'm desperate to do these little fellas. 
and I was thinking about putting little coats on them, covering up some of the some of the um, flowers in it. I don't know. We'll we'll get there, folks. It's this control element for me at the moment. <laughs> So that was Joanna Basford's Small Victory. It's a very cute little book. And then, yes, this is November's pages. I know, I know. Um, I did a page in Tales from the Witch Witch's Cottage. And I think this is a first in here as well. I did a double page spread. And I did this cat and his um, friend or... or his human, shall we say, <laughs> um, sitting on the blue moons. And I used quite a bit in here. So I used my Prismas because they were out. Posca, Stickles, Glitter Gel Pens and Dark Matter, which I'll show you in a second. I'll get it out. Um, Stickles Dark Matter, which is a glitter gel. And it looks like this when you open it. Can you see that glittery goodness in there? Yeah, they're amazing stuff. So, I've got the dark matter around the edges here. Yeah, you can probably pick up on the... It does leave like a coating on the page. Yeah, you can see it there. So I've just put that around the edges. I've got Stickles Diamond on the... Um, I can't get the diamond to pick up. Anyway, Stickles Diamond on the stars, and then um, a little bit of white gel pen around the moons, and obviously to make the stars. But yeah, I was thrilled with this page. I really enjoyed doing it, really enjoyed doing it. I love doing the black backgrounds. I think they, I don't know, they just really add to the colours, don't they? They really force those colours through. And although these are quite muted earthy tones, that's how I wanted it for the cat and the um, girl, they they still push forward, especially against this blue moon. So I was really pleased with how that turned out. Um, and I started with the cat and then thought, you know what? Instead of doing the usual black witch's hat and stuff like that, let me transfer those colours over to her. So he was done first and usually... And then I just used the colours and a little bit of cream to sort of um, complement him. So they, they became a pair sitting on their blue moons. Yeah, so really, really pleased with how that came out for uh, the first page in here. So I don't know why it's the first page. Um, I hadn't obviously hadn't coloured an awful lot because all I was doing was colouring on screen with you for a while because of anxiety and whatnot. But I'm back to it, folks. I'm back to it and, and enjoying it, which is the main thing, isn't it? That's the whole point of why we started this hobby. So, oh yeah, I love it. absolutely love it. Really pleased with how that came out. So that's Tales from the Witch Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carson. And then together on the channel, we did a not very Christmassy page to start with. Excuse the wobble. In My Winter Walk by Rita Berman. Um, and here it is. I've got a bookmark as well as a as a protective sheet. So we did the woodpecker slash kingfisher because by the time I'd coloured him, I was like, is he more like a kingfisher than a, a woodpecker? <laughs> so um, we were colouring it and to start the wintry season, and I was like, well, I've done this bit and the pine cones, but it's not very wintry. So I added in this wintry magical background. We used Black Widow pencils, um, and I say we because it was a colour with me. We used a silver gel pen. Um, let me just get this right. Black Widow's Posca Pan Pastel, which is what I used to make the um, snow flurries in the background, and Pentau dual metallic was the silver to, to, to make the stars which I used a stencil to to do the stars so I literally took a pan pastel I think it was like a light blue or something because it was on black and did the swirls and then just 
filled them with little dots to make it look like the wind had sort of flurried the snow. Then put some posca on the pine cones and the um, the tree that they're hanging off of, just to give it a wintry feel because it it, it was more tropical with the colours that I'd used. I don't know, it's a bit bizarre. But yeah, I, I like how it turned out once I put the background on. I mean, I like this part, but it just wasn't very wintry. It didn't sort of go together. If I'd have thought about it, I could have used more sort of wintry colours. But I love it now that I'd put the background in. And uh, that dual metallic pen is something else. If I hope you can see that shining. Probably not, but yeah. So we that is a colour with me on the channel. I really enjoyed it. Lo I'm loving the Black Widow's use again. Lots of lovely Christmassy pages in here, but yeah, so I really enjoyed that and I hope you, if you watched it, you enjoyed spending time with me doing that one. So that was um, Rita Berman's My Winter Walk. And then last but not least, I finished at the last moment, the nth hour of November. <laughs> I did Vintage Christmas Windows by create, well, from Creative Haven, but by David and uh, La Gina Bodo. I probably absolutely spoilt that name, but let me come out a little bit. There we go. It's an absolutely beautiful book. When was this published? Um, 2017, so it's an older one, but I obviously haven't had it that long. And I did this page. So I did the angels and the wise men visiting Mary and Joseph who'd just given birth to baby Jesus. All sorts going on here. But these are not my colour scheme. This was in the front of the book and I did my best to replicate it and put my little spin on things so that it was my own rather than just copying it. But fairly, fairly similar. But I, I, yeah, thrilled. I was thrilled with how it turned out. So um, it's got lots of silver, um, silver stickles on there, on the baubles and red stickles. Well, they're not stickles. The silver is, the red is um, Crafter's Choice. Or, um, oh, glitz it sparkles. Yeah. So, and that right. So alcohol markers are. Um, all sorts of different alcohol markers and then I used a Prismas gel pens and the different stickles and so the angels have got stickles around them I can't see on this little screen whether you're picking up on the shine or not I don't know it's very hard in this room I can see it but um, so all the little baubles on the tree are silver stickles and that glitz set and then there's diamond stickles around the angels and white well yeah posca for accents and that was it really but yeah this was the nth hour because I was colouring this and then I stopped to do our picture in Rita Berman's and then I've come obviously came back to it to get it finished and then obviously being ill and you know life I don't know it gets in the way doesn't it ruins all the best plans so I was colouring, also colouring a page in um, Cutesy Christmas, the creative um, hev heaven one, and didn't get it finished. So I'll have to finish that this month and then share it with you in December's finished pages. And that, my lovely friends, is as much as I managed to get done. But I did. I did eight. I did eight. I wasted a lot of time on my the Disney mystery one, um, faffing about and trying to get that right. But, um, yeah... So I don't think, I think I'll, after Christmas I should be definitely be doing more Disney. I really, really are enjoying those. And I've actually, um, I've got another couple of little Disney, the little, the small blocks one. I ordered Disney portraits, this one. Um, Disney portraits, which I was a bit gutted about because when it turned up, like all the pages were, I don't know if you can see at the top here, can you see? Yeah, look, if I do it like that, they were like, from this page onwards, they were, yeah, look, you can see there, they were like stuck together, perforated, and I had to separate them, so I was a bit annoyed about that. I'm going to have to get my craft knife out and do that, but look at the pictures in here. If I want to copy pictures, oh, Cheshire Cat, 
if I want to copy pictures, this is a perfect book to do it in. I know you've all seen it. I know it's an old one, but I'm very excited about it. I can't tell you. And I got um, the villains book. Disney villains to have a go at. Who doesn't like colouring in a villain, hey? So, yeah. So very excited. But I we are going to do our Christmas pages first before I get sucked into <laughs> doing more Disney stuff. <laughs> So yeah, so that was my rendition of the incredible artwork that you get on the cover. What's on the back? I haven't looked. You get one of the, oh look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow. And that'll be a page that's in here also to colour. Might have to have a go at that as well. Oh there it is. Is that it? No. Where is it? Um, somewhere coming up folks. Hello. There's some incredible pictures in here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah. So yeah, there we are, folks. So I I, I was colouring this month. <laughs> all right my lovely friends thank you so much for watching i now need to go away and get sorted out with our color with me so that you're not waiting for another week and i promise it won't be um so thank you so much for watching and listening to my waffle as usual so until we meet again in the very near future take really good care of yourselves my friends and i'll see you very soon night night